So welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, as we were talking today, we're going to look at uh, the, in the install of Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So what do you need? Well, you'll need a copy of the Windows 11 image. You'll need a software called Rufus to create the uh, bootable thumb drive. And you will need a thumb drive that has at least or a flash drive that has, that has at least eight gigabytes of space available. Now, once you plug in that uh, flash drive, remember that it will erase the flash drive and create a bootable, a bootable flash drive from the flash drive you plug in. So don't use something that has important documents on it. Use a empty flash drive. So the uh, where do you get the Windows 11 image? Well, from the Microsoft website, they have on this website a place where you can download the image. I'll share the link. Do follow the links I give you. Do not search for it on Google. Do not try to find it on your own because what I actually give you as links are the real links, the correct links. There's a lot of links that pretend that you can download Windows 11 that are fake or have images that have been tweaked with malware. A lot of people still don't understand that it's not like Windows XP. In the time of Windows XP or Windows 7, you couldn't download Windows 7 from the internet. And the only places were shady websites that had images. Today, Microsoft gives access to Windows 10 and Windows 11 images that you can download. So that's where you need to go. So once you're on this page, you go down to download Windows 11 disk image ISO. You choose the Windows 11 multi-edition ISO and you click the download button and download the image on your computer. First thing you need to do. Once it's downloaded, you will actually go and go to this website, Rufus, which is a software that creates bootable USB drives for your Windows uh, operating system image and so you'll be able to boot your PC from this. Remember that if you have an old PC, you'll have to make sure that your PC is um, capable of booting from USB. Most old PCs, a lot of people telling me, well, you know, my PC can't do that. Every PC can. PCs from the 90s can boot from USB thumb drives, just to give you an idea. So. This is standard even on 15-year-old PCs. Every PC that's made in the year 2000s pretty much have the capability of, of, of booting from USB drives. So uh, the links to those, so the software download is here, Rufus 3.21 that you can click and download. And so once you have these two things, the image of Windows 11 and Rufus to create the bootable thumb drive and of course a flash drive that you can use to create that bootable thumb drive. You'll be uh, ready to go to the next step. I will put all of these videos in the playlist um, installing Windows 11 and unsupported hardware. So uh, I hope that you can follow it through and uh, be able to uh, install on a unsupported PC if you try. Um, you know, if you have a PC lying around that's seven, eight, nine year old and you don't know what to do with it, you've got something new now, you know, this is a perfect fun experiment. Play around with your old PC and, you know, install an unsupported version of Windows 11. You'll be able to see if it works well and if you like it. And hey, maybe it's going to uh, simply uh, spark an interest in Windows 11 on a newer PC if you like it. So, uh, the links to both the image and the roughest software is in the description below. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Next video, we'll show you how to create what options options to choose to create the proper bootable uh, USB thumb drive.